In welcoming those present at the commemoration, Assistant Deputy Secretary Community Development Nancy Kavop said, most able bodies one day or someday will experience disability. If not through an accident or disease, then it will be old age. Therefore, the government is committed to ensuring disability a priority. Co-chair of PNG Assembly for Disabled Persons, Jackie Garao, acknowledged the leaders of the disabled persons organizations past and present in mainstreaming disability. She said during the COVID-19 lockdown, the people with disability did not have access to information and other essential services. She said requirements for social distancing meant that people with disabilities who are reliant on others are impacted together with those who assist and care for them. And because the persons with disabilities are very reliant on their carers or their peers for assistance and will not be able to fully participate Without the assistance of the PAs. Secretary Bice reiterated on the theme, applauding people with disabilities in their achievements and excelling in different fields. In the last 45 years, of course, we had our national disability um, policy. In the last 45 years, we also had Varo and Momoru sewing for APEC, you know. They sewed our uniforms. And we were happily showcasing those uniforms in APEC. I'm not saying everything. I'm just picking a few that, that is coming to mind. Ah. But it tells me how your voices, how you come out the closet, and how you fought, continue to talk and fight for your rights. That, that was pushing us. As a token of the government acting on the policy and making disability visible, the government donated two checks to the leaders of disabled people's organizations today. Frida Kana, TV One News.